some truth that Jesus is trying to teach me today. Nothing has to bother me with Jesus. Jesus is fulfilling me right now. Jesus is the most awesome thing to think about right now. Be still and hear Jesus' voice. Let Jesus prophetically encourage you. Jesus said, Choose the best spiritual gift for me that you prophesy with me. Jesus said, I love the good things that you let me do through you each day. Jesus said, I love your suffering love for me. Jesus said, I want to live in your body temple today. Jesus said, There's nothing too difficult for me to do for you today. There's nothing too difficult for me to do through you today. Jesus said, I want to fulfill you with me right now. Jesus takes good care of me like a perfect husband takes care of his bride each day. Jesus takes good care of me like a perfect father takes care of his child today. Jesus takes good care of me like a perfect mother takes good care of her child today. Jesus is like a best friend to enjoy the company of each day. Jesus loves to intimately relate to me each day. Jesus has perfectly and miraculously made me the way that he wants me to be today. My eyeball is a miraculous creation of Jesus, which I can use to see all of his other miraculous creations with on the earth today. Satan wants to deceive and distract people away from thinking about Jesus' goodness towards them today. Jesus said, It is my goodness which leads you to want to obey me. Jesus is real. Jesus is good. Jesus can help. Jesus can take me to a perfect world to live in after I die. That's who Jesus is. How awesome and wonderful he is. He's the greatest to think about. I have to live in an evil and suffering world. But Jesus can help me through it. Work it out for my good. Make me happy in it. And help me not to be bothered by it. And take me to a perfect world to live in after I die from it. I don't care what other evil people are choosing to do. That's their problem, not mine. That is between them and Jesus, not me and them. Jesus sees all, knows all, and controls all. Jesus sees everything, knows everything, and perfectly judges everything. Jesus allows evil rulers to punish evil people with on the earth today. Satan and evil people never fool Jesus. Jesus controls it all. 
Satan's not in control. Demons are not in control. Evil people are not in control. Only good Jesus is always in control of everything at all times. Else you would never be able to trust him. Jesus said, learn my truth and meditate upon it for your success and your happiness each day. Jesus can use his suffering judgments on the earth for sinners to try to save some souls through them. Try to wake them up to his truth before they wake up in his hell forever. If Jesus' suffering judgments on the earth can help a few people to get closer to him and save their souls from going to his hell forever, then they are something good for them to experience on the earth. Maybe when people get into suffering circumstances like the prodigal son did dying in a pig pen, then they might want to seek Jesus' help to get saved by him in it in the suffering of it. It was not a good world to live in in the 1950s to 2020s. It was like a rich man going to hell society instead, according to Jesus. Most people didn't care too much about Jesus, and they just dropped dead and went to hell forever during these years. According to the Bible, only a few people choose to get saved by Jesus from going to his hell forever. Only a few enter eternal life. So around 90% of the people of this world choose to go to Jesus' hell. And only around 10% choose to go to heaven forever after they die. Little children who die go to God's heaven and evil adults go to God's hell forever after they die. The little children who die are happier than I am in heaven now. They're Jesus' children too. My way to success and happiness is to choose to believe in Jesus' truth and obey him. We are all evil since Adam and Eve unless we seek Jesus' power to act good now instead. Without Jesus' help, I can do nothing good. With Jesus' help, I could do everything good. <laughs> Let good Jesus do good things through your body today. Unless Jesus teaches us his truth, we will never understand it. Unless Jesus teaches us his truth as we read the Bible, we'll never understand the truth of it. And nobody has an excuse for not understanding Jesus' truth because he can teach it to them if they want him to. The Holy Spirit can teach you everything you need to know. To have a good relationship with Jesus, though. Jesus would like parents to teach their children how to have a good relationship with him from an early age, but most choose not to do it. They can learn to have a good relationship with Jesus from Jesus when they grow older. You can't teach anybody anything that you don't know yourself first. Jesus knows what is best to do now, and he can tell me what is best to do now if I want him to. Seek to ask Jesus the question, What is the most important thing I should choose to do now, Jesus? Get an answer back. Jesus can give us his power to do whatever he asks us to do. Let Jesus do it through you, not you. Nothing can stop Jesus from doing what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Jesus can give us his miraculous help whenever we need his miraculous help. Jesus can give us miraculous money and miraculous food and miraculous healing 
and miraculous protection any time that he wants to. Jesus can give me whatever I need whenever I need it miraculously. All I need is Jesus to be happy now. Only a good relationship with Jesus can fulfill me spiritually. Only Jesus can make a man or a woman or a husband or a wife or a parent or a child able to love others with his power to do it. Seek to make Jesus the most important thing in your life right now. People seek to talk about what is their source of happiness all day. Is it the relationship with Jesus or something else? They talk about all day. Jesus wants us to choose to listen to his good voice in our minds and follow it today. Jesus wants us to choose to resist listening to Satan's evil voice in our minds and trying to follow it today. If you learn Jesus' truth, you'll be able to discern which voice is from him and which voice is from Satan to resist. If you choose to believe in Jesus' truth in your mind, you will have good emotions. And if you choose to believe in Satan's lies in your mind, you'll have bad emotions. Jesus is perfect love, then he is perfectly loving me right now. He never stops perfectly loving me. Jesus said, I always greatly love you the same. It's a perfect, unchanging, unconditional love. He died for sinners because <laughs> he loved them. Died for his enemies because he loved them. Jesus said, freely you have received from me. Freely seek to give to others. As I lead you to. Jesus said, the way that you choose to treat others is the way that you choose to treat me also. Jesus said, love and bless your enemies, or let me do it through you. <laughs> Jesus said, nothing can harm you unless I allow it to. Jesus said, I can work out everything that your enemies try to do to you and all of your sufferings out for your good. Don't try to make decisions about how you are feeling physically based on how you feel physically because Jesus can miraculously change how you feel anytime. Seek to make your decisions according to what Jesus is telling you to do, and he will give you his miraculous ability to do it. Like Paul said, I can do all things I need to do for Jesus with his power that helps me to do it. You can be safe in a fiery furnace or a lion's den with Jesus. You can be safe at the Red Sea with Jesus. You could be safe in a famine with Jesus. Your food never has to miraculously run out with Jesus. Jesus can punish your enemies around you, but keep you safe from his punishment for them at the same time. Noah's safe in the ark, the rest of the people drowning. Abraham safe, the rest of the people burning. Like God miraculously protected Israel from his punishments on his enemy Egyptians, so can he protect you from his punishment on his enemies in this world today. Jesus can keep you safe from his punishments on earth for his enemies like he did for Noah and Abraham and Moses today. 
Jesus was living in something like a Nazi Germany with the Roman beast or something ruling over him. But he could handle it with God's help too, just like I can handle Nazi Germany part two today, the satanic world empire today. I feel safe with Jesus and his angel army who are always with me and who never sleep. Can you have a vision of Jesus and the angels with you at all times, smiling and happy? Friends ears. Me and Jesus always win against our enemies. Jesus is the King of Kings who controls everything and does whatever he pleases on earth and in heaven today. Every created by Jesus' knee has to bow to his name, the name of their creator, Jesus, today. In the name of Jesus, King of the Universe. I can have perfect peace of mind trusting in Jesus right now. I can have perfect fear trusting in myself right now. I can experience a fullness of joy in Jesus' presence right now. I can miss out on a fullness of joy in Jesus' presence right now if I want to try to find my happiness through sin with Satan or something today. It doesn't work to make me happy or fulfilled. Only getting close to Jesus does. You won't be able to have a good relationship with other people unless you have a good loving relationship with Jesus first. Giving you power to love others. It's supposed to be Jesus living in each Christian, letting Jesus bless each other through each other. And when we choose to let Jesus love others through us, it makes him very happy. And when we make Jesus happy, he makes us happy spiritually. I can have an awesome, joy-filled party time with my best friend Jesus today if I want to. Right now if I want to. Nothing has to stop you from being full of joy with Jesus right now. The Bible says, always be joyful with Jesus. Seek to put your mind on good Jesus in an evil world to be able to feel good in an evil world today. Don't just look at the evil world and feel bad about it. Look at good Jesus and feel good about him. Put your eyes on Jesus to feel good, not the evil world. Free will choice is good. We don't have to be evil like everybody else around us is evil. We can be good with Jesus and Jesus can bless us for it if we want him to. I won't die till Jesus wants me to die and he can help me through my death. When I die and go to heaven, it will be like marrying Jesus, the king of the universe, and living with him in his paradise forever. Jesus has a perfect world for me to live in after I die. A thousand times better than this world. <laughs> I am a child of the richest king of the universe, Jesus. King Jesus has a great inheritance and great rewards waiting for me in his heaven after I die. Jesus is like my thousand foot bodyguard, a million times more powerful than my enemies, who is always with me and who never sleeps. I'm perfectly safe with Jesus now. Jesus can make me like a Superman. With him, king of the universe living in me today. There's nothing too difficult for Jesus to do through me now. I am as valuable to Father God as his own precious son Jesus is to him. He gave his son Jesus for me so I could be close to him. It does, that, that's, that, Father God greatly treasures me like he greatly treasures his son Jesus. 
I am as valuable to Jesus as his own precious life and blood were to him on earth and are to him now. He treasures me that much. That's how valuable I am. I don't listen to Satan's lies. I listen to Jesus' truth to feel good. Satan tries to get me to believe his lies that Jesus isn't real. Jesus isn't good. Jesus won't help. Jesus won't take you to paradise after you die. I say, no, Satan, he will. He is real. He is good. He can help. He can take me to a perfect world after I die to make me feel good on earth. Jesus seeks to rejoice over me like a bridegroom rejoices over his bride today. If God did not spare his own precious son for us, he will also freely give us everything else that we need. Your father knows that you need these things and he will give them to you if you seek first him and his kingdom. He's like my boss or king. I'm supposed to be like a servant or an employee of him working for his kingdom. And if I do what he tells me to do, he greatly blesses me for it. He seeks to bless his friends and punish his enemies at the same time on the earth today. If Jesus did not spare his own precious life and blood for us on earth, he will freely give us everything else that we need. Jesus loves to bless his bride each day. Jesus seeks to bless his friends and punish his enemies at the same time on this earth today. Jesus said, Put your eyes upon me and feel joyful and peaceful with me now. Jesus said, I want to take the punishment for all of your sins for you and fill you with my joy and peace today. Jesus said, I delight in your faith in me. Jesus said, don't hate your enemies. Seek to feel sorry for them like I do. Jesus said, you don't have to fear anything trusting in me. Jesus is perfect, and he never makes a mistake. Jesus does everything at his perfect time to do it. Jesus said, thanks for letting me prophesy through you. Jesus said, Thanks for letting me teach my truth to others out through you. Jesus said, Thanks for letting me pray for others' needs out through you. Jesus said, Thanks for letting me try to save some souls out through you. Jesus always answers our prayers the way that he wants to answer them. If something evil is happening on the earth today, Jesus is allowing it to happen. Like a Nazi Germany. But he can help his friends out through it wants to punish his enemies with evil leaders and help his friends out through it, like Daniel of Babylon or Joseph in Egypt. And he can give you miraculous power to do his will in the midst of it. You're not in evil slave worlds by yourself. You're in evil slave worlds with Jesus with you. Jesus was in an evil Roman occupied Israel slave world. He could handle it with God's help too. I could handle the satanic world empire today with God's help too. Nobody deserves to be alive and breathing on this earth today after Adam's sin. God could have wiped the whole creation out back then. 
Jesus is trying to give sinners a chance to get saved by him from their sin and go to his perfect world heaven after they die on the earth today if they want him to do this for them. It is not Jesus' fault that this is such an evil and suffering world to live in today. It is evil spirits and evil people's free will choices instead. The Bible says to always be joyful with Jesus. Rejoice in Jesus always. Paul said that in a very evil and suffering world. <laughs> you got to remember it was Jesus living in Paul right in the New Testament letters. It was Jesus saying that, be joyful with me always. Just like it should be Jesus teaching the truth through us today, not us. Jesus said, like I take care of the birds... I am taking good care of you in an evil world today also. I control it all. I can work it all out for your good. I greatly love you. Always. Jesus said, I love the good things that you allow me to do through your body on the earth today. Jesus said, thank you for choosing to believe in my truth today. Jesus said, I am your perfect, miraculous problem solver today. Your problems are my problems, and I can solve them all, says Jesus. Jesus wants us to have daily needs. That's what the Lord's Prayer is about. Not to have everything we need for the rest of our lives and never need anything. He wants us to have problems, difficulties, lack but he wants to miraculously help us to solve them all, to help us to have a close, needy relationship with him. Adam and Eve had everything in paradise, and they didn't want Jesus or whatever. Satan had everything in heaven, and he still wanted more or whatever. People may make their plans, but Jesus directs their steps. I may make my plans, but Jesus will direct my steps today. He can correct me if I'm going in the wrong direction. If I want him to. Jesus said, your enemies may make their plans with Satan, but I direct their steps to failure. Jesus said, I control everything, and I can work out everything for your good like I did for Joseph in Egyptian slavery. Jesus said, don't let anything bother you with me. Like I was with Moses at the Red Sea, so am I with you today. Jesus said, I use your war with your enemies and your sufferings for my name's sake to help to strengthen your faith in me through them. Jesus said, don't fear your enemies. I can crush them under your feet like ants anytime I want to. Jesus said, let me talk to your enemies through you. Jesus said, like my enemies hated me on the earth, so will my enemies hate you on the earth today also. Jesus said, in the world you will experience great tribulation, but continue to be joyful with me, because I can help you to overcome it all victoriously. Jesus said, I will grant you to sit with me on my throne in heaven with me, after you die, if you continue to overcome this evil world with me here on the earth now. Jesus said, the fruit of my life living in you is love, joy, and peace flowing out of you. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice, and they follow me to do my will for them on the earth today. Jesus said, 
I want my church to act like the church in the book of Acts today. Jesus said, Ask me to tell you how much I greatly love you, and I will. Jesus said, I created you to try to have an awesome relationship with you. If you want to have one with me. Jesus said, If you want to believe in my great love for you, I want you to believe in my great love for you and feel my great love for you today. Jesus said, I forgive you of all of your sins and declare you not guilty of them all in the court of heaven today. Jesus said, I seek to put your sins as far as the east is from the west is from my sight. Jesus said, I see you as righteous as I am in my sight because of your faith in my gift of my perfect righteousness for you. Jesus said, I am seeking to anoint you with my power to do the work of my kingdom on this earth now. Jesus said, don't fear your enemies. I control them like puppets on my strings. Jesus said, don't just think of what you have as just your own or also think of it as ours too, our body, our home, our bank account, our possessions, our wisdom, our strength, our love, etc., etc., etc. Jesus said, I seek to give you my authority over all of the power of your enemies, and nothing shall harm you with me. Jesus said, I have a good plan in an evil land for your life to try to allow me to try to save some souls here on earth through you during your life in it. Jesus said, you are like a beautiful, precious, beloved bride which my Father has chosen for me. Jesus said, My eyes are always on you, my precious bride, and I want your eyes to always be on me. Intimate, loving, husband, bride relationship type thing. Jesus said, I want to marry you and live with you in my paradise forever after you die. Jesus said, The most beautiful thing that I see is your faith in me. Jesus said, I delight in your great love for me. Jesus said, Seek me to help you to love me with all of your heart if you want to. I love free will choice. I can't have love without free will choice. And if people want to choose to be my enemies, well, I'll punish them for it. If they choose to be my loving friends, I'll choose to bless them for it. Jesus said, I don't look at people's outward appearance to see their beauty to me. I seek to look at their loving heart towards me instead to see their beauty. Jesus said, If you choose to draw close to me, I will choose to draw close to you. Jesus said, 
if you choose to seek to love me with all of your heart, if you choose to seek me with all of your heart, I will let you find all of me. Jesus said, I created this world with my words. Jesus said, I just have to speak a word and all of your troubles and problems can disappear now. I am not like a human being. <laughs> I am all powerful and I can do whatever I want whenever I want to do it. And I want to greatly love you. Jesus said, trust in my bank account, not Satan's bank account for you. Jesus said, I can heal people or raise them from the dead if I want to. Jesus said, I control life and I control death. Nobody lives on this earth and nobody dies on this earth unless I want them to at my perfect time for it to happen. Jesus said, the best way to prepare for being able to handle a more evil and suffering world in the future is to seek to develop a good relationship with me now so that I can help you to miraculously deal with it when these things happen in your future. Like Paul said, in the end times people will grow worse and worse with Satan. Jesus said, seek to praise and worship and thank me for being so awesomely good to you each day. Jesus said, I want you to believe that I treasure being with you. Come have intimate relationship with me all day. Jesus said, My purpose for creating you is to glorify me for being so good to you. Jesus said, Seek my power to love others like I love you. Jesus said, Choose to read my Bible with me teaching you my truth through it. And it will help you to better learn my truth through doing this. Jesus said, choose to pray for my help. Choosing to pray for my help will bring more of my help to you and to others. Jesus said, I love to hear your thanksgiving and your praise to me each day. Jesus said, Seek to thank me for the greatest thing that I did for you. Die on a cross for your sins. Through taking communion often to do it. Jesus said, I want you to be a witness to others that I am real and that I am good. Jesus said, I want to do my miracles through you to try to help other people to start to believe in me if they want to. Jesus said, I always win and Satan always loses. Jesus said, My angel army with you is greater than your enemy's army which is against you. Jesus said, 
He can always win with me. If you do what I say, tell you to do to win the war. Jesus said, I know everything your enemies plan against you, and I can stop everything that your enemies plan against you if I want to. These difficulties and suffering on earth are to try to help people if they seek my help to deal with these things. It can bring them closer to me, which is good for them. Instead of just not caring about me and dropping dead and going to hell forever. Jesus said the future looks like great judgments for my enemies. Like economic collapse. Famine, disasters, man-made, God-made, plagues, rioting, apostasy, and World War Three, and World War Three. Jesus said, "Your way to success." is to seek me to give you a great faith in me today. Jesus said, like I was with Moses and Paul, so am I with you today. Jesus said, your enemies are not just your enemies, they are my enemies too. Jesus said, Your enemies are not just fighting against you. They are fighting against me in you, too. Jesus said, They are not just saying yes or no to you. They are also saying yes or no to me in you, too. Jesus said, don't fear your enemies. I am always bigger than they are. Jesus said, Don't forget that I am bigger than the universe is. Jesus said, Don't forget that I am almighty and all-powerful. Jesus said, Don't forget that I am King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Jesus said, I want to have an awesome, intimate relationship with you each day. Come be with me. Jesus said, Put your eyes on awesome me and awesomely rejoice in me all day. Don't forget about putting your eyes on me. To rejoice in me. I'm the most awesome one to put your eyes on. Not what saints tell, just put your eyes on. Jesus said there will be no more bad news in heaven. There will be no more evil or suffering or death in my heaven for my friends forever. These are some words of truth which I am trying to say to you today. Jesus. Jesus.